<clears throat> Today is my cousin's birthday. I think I was mentioning that yesterday night, but what the plan is, he's gonna be back from office at around five o'clock. So we're, we are driving um, to grab some gift for him uh, because this was like an impromptu. We didn't know that it was his birthday. Um, yesterday, I think yesterday evening, my mom uh, pings me and tells me that it's his birthday. I'm like, okay, that is a surprise. So even though we wished him, um, we decided let's drive and get grab something for him. So we will do that. <clears throat> this is the first time I'm driving in Arizona, so let's see how the drive is going to be. Looks like Minnesota. Um, but I feel like people um, drive a little crazy here. <laughs> so we will see. It's no, not minnesota -ness. No, no. <laughs> Just my thought. Okay. I have to make a U here, so this is not the way we have to go. First mistake. You can go like this. <laughs> this map, um, so I'm using map on... So the roads are pretty much very similar to Minnesota uh, because traffic is almost the same, it's not different. Um, <clears throat> People drive here a little faster than Minnesota, definitely. That, that I have seen that, um, but that could be just me. In about a quarter of a mile, left turn onto South Alma School Road. But definitely, I mean, this is if I have, if I decide to move somewhere out of Minnesota, I think I'll be, this will be the first place I will consider because I like it. I definitely like it. Pace of life is very much similar to what uh, Minneapolis and Minnesota in general is. Minnesota at the same time I'm seeing the mountains so it's beautiful. But yeah that's one thing I think I don't know if it's about the green um, the green signs the, the road signs or anything else but it feels like I'm in Minnesota except when I see the trees and all it feels like oh yeah I am in Arizona. We finally found a gift um, for for my cousin and we are heading back home because um, we have to go pick up his kid from the daycare. I mean, I think it's around 4 o'clock. It's already 3.17, so gotta go hurry up. Um, the plan for today is we are gonna go to have dinner in one of the nice restaurants, it seems. Um, that place is somewhere in, uh, what is it called? South, Southdale? Scottsdale. Scottsdale. Um, it's called one of the, uh, like, number fifth richest neighborhood it seems so we'll see um, I heard that a lot of beautiful places like walkways and whatnot are there so we will we will explore all that together so for now we're gonna head home and we're gonna go to the daycare which I made initially when we were walking out of the house, uh, going out of the house. I felt like it was way better driving experience here than in Minnesota. Sorry, Minnesota, no offense against you. But I felt like the drivers here are more sensible um, and they follow the road rules because I did not see anybody road raging or in a hurry or 
that sort of stuff like you know they are they are driving but if they want to merge any lanes they do use the signals and then they merge um but the reason i think i felt initially the way it was is because the lanes here in arizona are like um what do you call it? narrow i think that was a part of it um but overall driving experience i think it's way better right right and it was comfortable drive it was not like stressful drive and also something which i have seen here if you are like if you're late to the signal if it is red and you want to get out of that signal nobody honks they wait for you um even if it turns red they're fine uh, that's something which i'm like because there was a guy who was standing in front of me i was hesitant to honk at him and i'm like should i or shouldn't i but never mind i did not but he moved along so yeah that was that was very good drive i would say on the peak hour and the traffic it's less because i think that was another thing is like per capita the population density is way lower than the other states and that might be it. so right on time right on time mm -hmm. let's see seven is next zero That's my cousin's son. He's such right? a hyper, super active kid. That's Very cool. smart. Right, Daddy? Mm -hmm. Wait, what did you do? You said you won one. You're all a winner, right? Yeah. And you'll get some prizes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? Yash, do you want to talk about your planets? Yash, which is the smallest country in the world? That I can say. Which, which city? Vatican City? Is that the smallest country in the world? Yeah. Good job, yes. What else did he teach you, Ayush? I, I can't. I don't know anymore. He, he, he keeps talking all this random stuff to me. I, I don't even know anymore. So we have gotten ready and now we are going to head out for the dinner because I, like I was mentioning earlier, uh, we're going to go to this place called Scottsdale. Um, Jimu, what's the restaurant name? Zinc. Zinc. Um, there's a place called Zinc, it seems, and it's like a little higher end restaurant. That's called Camelback Mountain. And if you if you see there are two homes of that mountain, that's what it's called. Um, 1997, there were some U UFOs that were sighted on this mountain. This is the place um, I was mentioning earlier. This is called Zinc. This is where our dinner is going to be today. Um, so this place is called Scottsdale, one of the richest neighborhoods in whole America, it seems. Um, but yeah, uh, I could tell that because if you see those cars there, that's a Maybach. The one behind is a Rolls Royce. So yeah, they're parking on the roads. is here so this is salmon which i've ordered and it is like medium well done i don't know i said one of our chef choices 
This is bologna pasta, which Ayush has ordered. This is vegetarian lasagna. What is that? What is it? Quiche. That is called And my cousin also got he who doesn't want to be on YouTube also got lasagna. Now you're gonna be on YouTube. Um, yeah. So we're gonna taste the food. And Ayush. And see how the things are because I've heard a lot of good. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? That's that's masa. That is potato. I don't rate it. Potatoes, it's called for something which is like layered potato. It's yeah. like a cake. Fish is really good. Um, good good choice of going medium. Uh, well done because mm. actually medium. Because if I, the salmon is really fresh. If I have grown, if I would have asked for like a med medium well, not medium, medium well would have been like a little hard, but this is really good. The sauce. It's nice, spicy and tangy. That's the best part of the sauce. But yeah, overall, the food is really good, all of it. People are just just sharing a lot, which is kind of nice. And that is that tells how, how delicious the food is. So I stole the idea of my cousin. I want to try the next drink because I had the other one, which was suggested. I did not like it. So I'm going to give this one a shot. This is uh, made up of tequila. Um, and some some syrup, I don't know what it is, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> oh, this is good. I can taste alcohol in this. <laughs> mm, this is good. I can feel the tequila in there. This doesn't have avocado, the other one which we had. And yeah, that is that was avocado. They had avocado in this. This one is like not, they don't have the avocado, so. We ordered a couple of desserts. What is this? Flourless chocolate cake. Flourless chocolate cake, and this one? Apple tart. Apple tart. Looks beautiful. Yesh, are you still hungry? Are you dancing? Yesh is dancing. Yes, 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 he's enjoying his, his best. Uh, yes, can you stand here? Can you stand here? So we got done with our food finally and this place is really good. The food was amazing. The one thing which I loved about this place is the uh, the hospitality as well as uh, the quantity. The, I mean, the, it's pricey, but the quality of the food they give you. I mean, we could not finish it. And the last killer thing which we had was the chocolate, no floor chocolate, um, which I just showed you. That was just mouth watering. The, the cake was hot and the ice cream was melting over. It was just delicious. So after this now we're gonna head home. We're gonna walk a little bit because we are full to like here. So we're gonna walk around. Um, probably I'm gonna show you a little bit around and then we're gonna head home. back home yeah. and I I am full I'm stuffed but I'm still kind of I don't know maybe I'll eat something but Ayush wants Ayush is tired and he still wants to play the exploding kittens that's what he wants to play so we're gonna be playing this card game now right yeah are you excited about that I'm tired <laughs> I am tired I'm not playing anything 
So, we will end the video here. Uh, if you guys liked the video, um, please like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.